Follow me over here to the countertop, and I'll tell you that this is not only a brand launch, it's W&P Peak two-piece silicone cube cup cube freezer trays with lids. But now whatever you can freeze, you can portion. Whatever you can portion and freeze, you can then have later for a meal. And it really makes so much sense. Because these are silicone, they're moldable and they're easy to work with. And I can freeze things like a cup of my famous homemade chicken soup. I can do things here like kale and berries. Do some beautiful frozen berries for smoothies. Whatever the case may be, and everything pops out thanks to the fact that these are silicone. Wait, come from the side if we can, guys. So we'll just come and show you. I pop that up and out, and it goes right into my Vitamix to make a great smoothie or whatever I'm making to go with it. Joining me is a face that I haven't seen in quite some time. My friend Kate Lubineski is here, and she's with us for our brand launch tonight. Kate, it's great to see you first. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm it's great nice to tonight. Be back. And Kate and I met years and years ago as she was working with lots of different kitchen brands in, in New York City. And what a great pleasure to welcome you in tonight with the brand launch of Peak. This is something very exciting. I am very excited. And I have to say, um, I've been in your kitchen a lot of times, but I'm very excited to have you in my kitchen today. Uh -huh. uh, Introducing W&P to the QVC audience because W&P is a brand of kitchen products that are very innovative and we make modern kitchen products that improve the way we eat and drink. And so when I think about this past year and a half and I think about how many times I went into the refrigerator or the freezer to try to feed my three boys and I was coming up pretty short, um, I think we can all appreciate that this is called Cup Cube. And Cup Cubes is a freezer tray completely crafted of silicone um, and individually molded cubes. So you can freeze and store things in one cup increments, which makes it so handy if you've made a big batch of soup or a big batch of chili or a big batch of broth and you wanna portion a one cup increment or we even have measurement markings on the inside that allow you to do maybe a quarter cup. Maybe you're freezing some pesto because you made pesto because you had a lot of basil or half cup of a tomato sauce because you had a bumper crop of Jersey tomatoes, which we had this year. Um, so you can freeze and portion in any increments that you want, and they're very easy to remove. The other great feature here is that this is an internal uh, silicone coated steel rim, which means I can put six cups of chicken noodle soup and I weighed it and it's five pounds of chicken noodle soup in here and you literally cannot wobble it. Um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make a mess on the way to the freezer. So it's very sturdy and very secure when you freeze it. And finally, it has a lid that snaps on top for airtight freezer storage. And it even because we thought of everything has a little area where you can mark with a dry erase marker the contents of what's actually in your cup cubes and what date you froze it. And I love this because now if there's leftover sauce or pasta that you made, you freeze it. You pop it out when you need it, right into a saucepan to warm up into your microwave if it's just a heat and serve situation. And these are very popular. Now, maybe you've um, taken all day to make bone broth. And that's what we did here. We made a beautiful beef bone broth. You wanna save that and freeze it into one cup increments. And then as you need it, you got broth for your recipes, for your French onion soup, for all the things that you're loving. Pop this lid on top and get it right into the freezer. Let me show you color choices, reminding you that we have this in charcoal, and we also have it in the blue. Now, blue is more limited, about 3,200 in the blue, a bit more to go around in the charcoal. But Kate, this is all about being smart, planning ahead, and having the right tool to get to the finish line. That's right. How many times do you have a recipe that calls for one cup of broth? You open a box of broth, maybe, and you've got two thirds of the box that's just sitting there, and it goes bad, and you feel bad about it, and eventually you toss it, but it takes you a couple of weeks for it to go bad. Mm -hmm. This actually allows you to have all the portion sizes you need at your fingertips, whether you made your broth or you used a box broth, you're never gonna waste it again. Um, you can even do one cup of smoothies. So, for example, um, this is just almond milk, berries, and mint that I freeze in one cup increment. So, in the morning, I don't have to think about making my smoothie because I do have three boys that have to get off to school. I've pre-prepped it so it's always available to me for a healthy breakfast for myself. And for them, um, you can even bake in these. So because it's pure silicone, 
They're freezer safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and oven safe. So today, I actually bake banana bread, froze it, and now I can pop it out and put it in their school lunches. And I always have a snack or a treat available for them because the worst thing in the morning is not feeding me. The worst thing in the morning is trying to figure out what to fill three lunch boxes with. Well, you know, just the other night I made chicken and dumplings and I needed chicken stock and I opened carton after carton because I don't know how to make a little bit of chicken and dumpling. And so it's one of those situations where you got extra stock left over. Now, if you've got it, you can now freeze it, save it. And if it's in the freezer, it's going to last a lot longer than the expiration date on that carton. And plus, you don't take up all that space in your refrigerator with this much stock in the bottom, right? So it's really, That's really correct. awesome. Don't forget, we have color choices for you. You're getting your six cup and your four cup. You get them both. It's a two piece set. And they'll come with their lids. Now, I have it in the charcoal gray. But if you want blue, I only have 2,800 going around, and this is the only order of the year. Kate, would love for you to speak over this video again because it really shows the variety of things that you can do with it. Yes, absolutely. So as you said, one of the things that I can't stand is food waste, but when we're cooking at home so often, I'll often have a recipe that calls for half a can of coconut milk. Well, then I've got a half a can of coconut milk that's going to go bad if I don't figure out a recipe. Now I can freeze it and I can drop it in my smoothie at my convenience and I'm no longer wasting almond milk, wine, broth, uh, you know, uh, oat milk, all of the things that you maybe use a little bit of at different times. But really the beautiful thing is you can always have a portion size meal waiting for you in your freezer and it's literally two minutes away from being heated up. So I can make a homemade chili and I can feast on that next week because Maybe I made a soup and I'm fr frozen that. And you're mm -hmm. sort of portioning and cycling through all the things that are in your freezer. I can feed my family. I can feed myself. But if I make a giant stock pot full of a delicious potato soup, I can only eat it so many days in a row. So now I always have it available in my freezer. I can pull it out at my convenience. And I always have a healthy, delicious homemade meal literally two minutes away. That's a cup of chicken noodle soup. Now I can take a couple of these out, pop them into a microwave-safe microwave -safe bowl, and I've got soup in, in, in a few minutes, right? So you pop yeah, these you have right soup in out. Yeah, you a few minutes. Exactly. You pop them right out. You can take them from the oven. You can pop them in the freezer. You can even just store, like, I baked my muffins in them. I had two tins. The boys obviously ate out of the, out of the first tin, so I didn't need to freeze it. But I could store it on the countertop with just the lid popped on, and I didn't need to use plastic wrap, and I didn't need to throw anything away. But then I have these sticks that are in the freezer so they can snack on them throughout the week. And then you can also take them out and put, uh, this is, these are pesto cubes. So after I've frozen in them, I can take them, put them in a reusable bag, store them in my freezer, and then reuse them for the next thing. Because once they're frozen, they're very easy to pop out and you can, you can basically cycle through multiple, um, multiple batches of soups and stews a week. If you are doing a big punch bowl of sangria for a holiday party, freeze fruit in these and float the cubes in your punch bowl. I'm telling you, this so is a really sweet. smart idea. Kate Lubineski, let me first say, you are a sight for my sore eyes. It is great to see you again. It's so good to see you. Good to be back. Take good care, stay in touch, and we'll talk soon. And as we say goodbye to Kate, I'm going to remind you of color choices. 2,000 of these are gone now. If you want the gray, 4,300 in that gray for the year. Remember, there's no reorder this year. And then if you want blue, I have now fewer than 2,000 to go around. These are going very quickly with hundreds of people on the phone lines. Great to have Kate back with us tonight and stay on the line for your WMP Peak two-piece silicone cup cube freezer trays. All right, it's time for a today-only price, a 